if you have read that book put up your hand because you know what I'm talking about because the book is real good mm, mm, mm. hi wonderful people and welcome back to my channel book Chris I am Giselle how are you going what's up what's the scene I hope you are enjoying those wonderful books that released this month I hope you're enjoying some excellent books written by black authors and if you are not then I have some recommendations for you all of these books are written by black authors and they're also series so if you're looking for something if you're in a reading slum or anything like that these books can do the trick these books are not going to drag you down these books are just going to have you pumped these books are going to have your mind reeling these books are going to have you shouting and yelling screaming maybe jumping that is how I was when I read these books which is why I'm recommending these books for you so that is what we're going to do today my favorite series written by black authors that have black characters in them if this is something that you like make sure and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not oh. so let us get into this video okay so this is my first time recommending this series on my channel I love love this series black love white lies oh my goodness y'all this book I read out this entire trilogy in one day it was back to back to back I kid you not they follow the same characters when I tell you drama when I tell you juiciness when I tell you excitement from the beginning oh my goodness in the series you meet Audriel and Cairo Audriel she's black and Cairo is white however Cairo he grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood and he grew up with a black family he sees himself as a black he is inherently black regardless of his outward appearance and then you have Audriel she is just trying to do her thing opening up her boutique and all of that she has a friend and her friend just keeps messing with these guys these no good guys she herself has been in a relationship prior and it ended terribly she meets Cairo and everything is awesome everything is great things are beautiful between them until it all comes crashing down her husband who she has been separated from for years shows up out of the blue and uh, Cairo ex-girlfriend shows up stating that she's pregnant with his child something smell fishy but that is just how the story goes listen you have people coming back from the past trying to create chaos in their life they are together then they're torn apart you have an accidental pregnancy oh my goodness this is it if you want drama if you want excitement if you want something that is really going to hold you captivated this is the series for you this is it this is it another series that I have been enjoying is the brothers black series by blue sapphire this is a seven book series with all the black brothers and their relationship why it was book one God, listen when I read that book when I read about why Oh my goodness if you have read that book put up your hand because you know what I'm talking about because the book is real good mm, mm, mm. this book Wyatt the heartbreaker Wyatt yes he's known for breaking hearts in their community he's also part of his family like security company and so on these are like some bad boys just saying but they're good okay they're good they're decent they're not anti-heroes they're decent bad naughty guys okay and Nellie she's actually a very close family friend however she went away but she and Wyatt they weren't really close together because of their age gap she was actually closer to Wyatt's younger brother Noah and she comes back now and Noah is like mm, who's this who are you and 
he pursues her and she does not relent she's like she makes him work for it listen you become totally engrossed in his pursuits but he he earns it he earns it he earns it the brother black series is an awesome series that follows these brothers this series mm, love it love it these brothers can't ask for more y'all know by now how i feel about kita kendrick right you 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 know this right you know this so this series the chaos series love this series it's beautiful chaos quiet chaos and hidden chaos and in each of these books like the heroine they grew up together they're very close friends and in book one you have kane the cannibal and desiree and desiree is basically the bookkeeper and she's actually supposed to marry like kane's brother but she ends up having a thing for Kane, Kane, he tries, he really does. Listen, this book is filled with action and suspense and drama. Yes, it's teamy. If you have read any of Kita's book, you know it is teamy. But the story though, you get so absorbed into the characters that you're rooting for Desiree, you're rooting for Mecca, you're rooting for Petrina because they were all close friends and they end up with these bad guys. They end up with these guys from this syndicate. Not saying that they're good. No, 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 no. Especially Mecca. She's one bad ass heroine. Desiree, she's smart. Petrina, she's smart. But these heroes as well, oh my God, I love them. If you want these villains that you're going to fall in love with, then read these. This is it. This is it for you right here. Here are their names. Cannibal. Terror. Loud. Because he's silent. This next series that I'm going to tell you about, this was the beginning of my addiction to books with organized crime. The Batagali series by Sienna Mix. See that entire series? Ten books. Mm. it's so good and it follows the same character the same hero and the heroine throughout those books and this author she's able to carry it and just maintain that standard maintain that suspense maintain all that mystery and had things unraveling like that throughout each book throughout the series it had giovanni and myra and they carry that series. So in the beginning, Destino, this is where it all began. Destino, you had Myra, she's a fashion designer. This story begins in the 1980s and she is an African-American fashion designer and she decides to go to Italy just for a nice you know, vacation and whatnot. She goes with her friend Fabiana and they embark on this exciting journey. They embark on something that altered and changed their lives forever just saying that fabiana died but changed her life forever she encounters giovanni giovanni he becomes fascinated by this african-american woman he is so fascinated he pursues her relentlessly and eventually she gives in and that is where things begin because you know what she becomes pregnant she runs away from him he goes on this killing spree gets her back, tries to win her love. They get married and all of that for her to discover that her father was actually a mafia boss. And there's jealousy, there's envy from his cousin and her sister. Listen, this book, this is another series that has it all. You're not gonna be able to put down any one of these books. You're gonna start with Destino and just want to read the others it's gonna be one after the next this so many things happen to Myra and Giovanni over the span of how many years that this story like took them throughout their life so many things happen in terms of like their kids and like ex-lovers coming back trying to kill whoever listen the series this is why this is one of my favorite favorite series written by a black author with black characters in it was good it, it was good it was good hands down it was good mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. This is another book that has a lot of violence. It is very graphic. The Batagli series by Sienna Minx, that is very graphic. The Chaos series by Kita Kendrick, very graphic as well. So this one, I devoured this series as well. It had no break for me. Ruthless People. Mm. The audiobook, love the audiobook. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. But I actually read the ebooks and then I was so addicted to it that I had to listen to the audiobooks. This series follow Liam and Melody. And Melody, she is actually the head of the Italian mob. And Liam, he is the head of the Irish mob. And now they have to get married. And you have these two bosses coming together. You know that it's going to be drama. You know that it's going to be chaos. You know that it's going to be ruthless. Because they are both corrupted. They are both merciless. They have no qualms about shedding blood. None. None. And they're all about being on top. Being successful. Being the best that they can be and ruling with an iron fist and not stopping until they get to the top and the top is to control the white house uh, uh. <laughs> love this series any one of these series that i'm talking about if you have no issues with some violence in it if you have no issues with books with triggers in it you're gonna love it love it so if you have read any of these series comment down below if you love them comment down below if you have reread them comment down below because i have <laughs> thank you for watching my video thank you for supporting my channel for tuning in for subscribing to my channel as well as for liking my videos subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell so you'll know when i post a video you'll know when i upload a video Look out for when I post another video. Bye.